Hello, can you hear me? Hey, surprise, surprise. Welcome back to your English classes. Good to see you. Hello, Jilma, how are you doing tonight? Hello, teacher. I'm very good <laughs> tonight. Really? Do you like the weather? Do you like the weather conditions right now? Um, um, it's, um, fresco, como se dice? Weather. It's fresh. Weather. It's fresh. very fresh. Like, it's, it's rainy. Very fresh. It's humid. It's fresh. It's, it's very fresh. delicious. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like it. Do you like it? Si. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Me too. I Me like too. It. Oh, to drink like a hot drink, like a chocolate, hot chocolate or coffee with milk or something like that. Um, yes. With a piece of sweet bread. Woohoo! Yummy, yummy. Hey, what about the other students? They are late. Where are my students? Intermediate class. Let me see. Where are my students? Where are my students? Hello, Susanna, Caroline, Miss Paula. Good evening, lady. Hello, teacher. I'm fine. You are? Did you have yes. a good weekend? It's okay. It's okay, okay, it could have been better. I understand, it could have been better. Yes. No problem, miss. Well, let's say welcome also to Mercy Viera. Hello, Miss Mercy. How are you Hello, doing? teacher. Are you ready? Fine, thank you. Yes, I'm ready for the class. I like that answer very well, very well. We're just waiting a little bit for the older students. I don't know, people are late. I posted a chat already. Maybe today people may have a little difficulties because of the, the weather conditions in some areas may be affecting the um, internet connection. Yes. In my house, the rain is very um, fuerte. <laughs> hard. Very hard. Where do you live, Miss Mercy? Ilopango, teacher. Mm, Ilopango. Nice. Yes. Okay, so it's raining. Very... Wait, it's raining very hard in Ilopango, and it's raining very hard in Mariona, so everywhere it's raining very hard. There is um, an alert, like, like a weather alert, right? So I don't know. there's like a very hard storm that is hitting, I think, um, Guatemala and El Salvador or something like that. Mm. Anyways, anyways, today we're going to have a review. This week, we're going to review everything we have studied. We're going to review and we're going to have interactions. We're going to uh, make or, or have many role plays, right? To practice, to polish our speaking, to cover our gaps, to make any kind of corrections. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Hello, Ms. Carla Marino, good evening. Welcome Good aboard. Evening, How's Good it evening. going on a rainy day? Oh, uh, well, I was doing a lot of things. I was helping my daughter with her homework. Oh, that's a super mother right there. You never stop. <laughs> you have so much energy. Yes. yes. We yes. need we need more we need more women like you, Carla. Oh, thank you. Yes, absolutely. Because you work, you study, and you continue working with your children at home. So that yeah. is simply admirable. Thank you. 
All right. And let's see. I see Mr. Brian Ariel Hernandez. Hello, gentlemen. How you doing? Maybe he cannot hear me. Anyways, we're going to um, practice adverbs before adjectives. We're going to practice adverbs before adjectives. Don't really know if you quite remember this past class. It was one of the first classes that we saw where you studied um, adjectives before or adverbs before nouns. First of all, do you remember your adjectives? You remember adjectives, right? Do you remember what is an adjective and you remember examples of adjectives? So we're good in that part. Uh, this is the dynamic. We're going to talk about a city. We're going to talk about a place. We're going to talk about celebrities. These are the categories. I'm going to share with you the categories. These are the categories. City, place, celebrity, food, job, leisure activity, chores, duties, or other. Okay? Those are the categories. So you give your opinion. Okay? For example, if we talk about a city, okay, I can tell you... Paris. Do you know that city? Paris. Do you know that city? Have you heard about it? What country is, is, is Paris in? France, Italy. France. It's actually in France. Yes, it's the capital uh, in France. So what's your opinion about this city? What's your opinion? Um, I think it's a beautiful uh, city because it's, uh, they, they have many education in, the, in this, uh, this city. Okay, okay, Miss Mercy. Okay, you almost have it complete because you said a beautiful city. So beautiful is the adjective. We missed adding an adverb. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the what is a correct adverb that I could have added there? For example. Mm -hmm. You do remember the adverbs, right? For example, really. Mm. What else? Very. Fairly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Somewhat. Do you remember? Somewhat. So what, uh, what Albert could you use on that example? Um, um, I can say uh, the, the, the Paris is a fairly city. Now you're missing the adjective. <laughs> uh -huh. Remember, you have to use adverb and not yet both. It's so fairly beautiful. Paris is a fairly beautiful city. ¿Se acuerdan del orden en el que iban? Do you remember the order? It was extremely, very, really, pretty, fairly, and somewhat. Okay, so that's the dynamic. That's the dynamic. For example, I tell you celebrity. 
celebrity. Okay. I tell you, um, Mercy. Okay. Mercy says a celebrity. For example, what's your opinion about Ben Affleck? What's your mm. opinion about Ben Affleck? Do you know Ben Affleck? Yes. Okay. What's uh, your opinion about that? Remember, you have to use adverb and adjective. Adjective. Uh, I think it's a very, a really person and... A really, really what? Really? A really person? Person is not an adjective. Really is really, an adverb. Really uh, is an adverb. So you're missing the adjective. A really... Um, really interesting, really friendly, really, really, really rich. <laughs> really friendly, friendly person. So you understand? You understand? Yes. That's the dynamic, right? That's the dynamic. You have to give your opinion and you have to make sure you use an adverb and then an adjective. So Mercy says that Ben Affleck is a, is a really interesting uh, person or, or actor, let's say, right? Okay. Jennifer Alliston is very beautiful. Jennifer, who's talking? Is that you, Noe? Can't see you in the camera. Are you there? I see your roof. Okay, teacher. Excuse me. There you are. There you are. Okay, I was looking at your roof. Okay. <laughs> no worries no worries hey okay 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 so the topic is the topic is celebrities celebrities vamos a ver mi Susana give us one celebrity Paula, hello, Miss Paula. Give us one celebrity. Hello, Who's your favorite uh, celebrity? My favorite celebrity is Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez. Okay. Yes. What do you think, Gilma? What do you think about Selena Gomez? Yeah, if she is um, a, an artist very young. She is an artist very young. Okay, la vamos a poner en orden. She is a very, she's a, she's a very, Young oh. artist. Yes? yes? She's a very young artist. Do you understand? Si, yes. <laughs> Good job, Gilma. Very is the adverb. Young is the adjective. Great job. Let's continue with celebrities. Gilma, can you choose one celebrity? Who's your favorite celebrity? My favorite celebrity is Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. All yes. right. Tom Cruise. Let me see, Susana. Can you give us your opinion about Tom Cruise? Make sure you use an adverb and an adjective. No lo conozco. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Imagínese al teacher Caleb, así, tal cual. Este, no, nah, just kidding. Mission Impossible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> impossible yeah, Mission. Yeah. Impossible. Vamos a escoger entonces other celebrity. Let me see. Um, let me see. Noah. Noé, can you give us one celebrity, a different one? Yes, yes, teacher. Jennifer Alliston is fairly famous. Famous. Jennifer Aniston is fairly famous. famous. Yes. Jennifer Aniston is fairly famous. famous. And, and she is extremely beautiful. Yes. Yeah? Beautiful. You're right, teacher. I'm always right. I'm always right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. 
What about what about Hector? Can you give us a celebrity Hector? Um, my favorite celebrity is Katy Perry, teacher. Katy Perry. <laughs> <laughs> What's your opinion about Katy Perry, Hector? And for beautiful teacher. Try to give try to give adverb an adjective. Okay, beautiful is the adjective. So now you need an adverb. She is somewhat beautiful. She is very mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay. She is very beautiful. Yes, she is very beautiful. That is correct. Very is the adverb. Okay. Beautiful is the adjective. She is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is your opinion about her? She's very beautiful. She's very famous. She's extremely known. Es muy conocida. So let me see. Susana, what about what about you? Can you give us an opinion about, let me see, Brad Pitt? What about Brad Pitt? Do you know Brad Pitt? Susana? Don't tell me you don't know Brad Pitt. Okay. <laughs> How about Leonardo DiCaprio? Mm. He is very interesting. Okay, he's very interesting. Excellent. He's very interesting. Okay, Carla Merino, give us your favorite celebrity in in, in your example. Okay, my uh, Adele is a extremely famous singer. Yes, Adele is Adele is an an extremely yes. Adele an is an extremely famous singer. That is correct. That is correct. All right. How about Brian? Can you give us a celebrity, Brian? Maybe he cannot hear me. Okay, let's change categories. Let's change categories. Uh, let me see, Mercy. Can you can you change categories? What category you want to talk about? Uh, food. Food. Okay, let's talk about yes. food. All right. Let's talk about food. Uh, let me see, Noe. What is your favorite kind of food? And give us your opinion using an adverb in an adjective. Mexican food is very spicy. Yes, Mexican food is very spicy, like hot, right? Very spicy. All right, all right, very spicy. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Salvadoran food is extremely delicious. Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes. It's the best. It's the best. I'm telling you. All right. It's only the world. It's the, it's the unique. All right. In the world. Okay. Let's hear. Let's hear. Mercy. What about you, Mercy? What's your favorite kind of food? What's your opinion? You seen an advert and an adjective. Um, for me, mm, the the Chinese Chinese food is uh, somewhat uh, delicious. Okay, Chinese. 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 And you will say, for me, Chinese food. Yes, for me. For me. Chinese, Chinese food, food is, is somewhat some that de somewhat delicious. Somewhat delicious. Mm -hmm. So it's not de de is not necessary. No. Okay, Mercy. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. So Chinese food is somewhat delicious. Okay. 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 How about how about price? How about price? Uh, Chinese food is what? What's your opinion about price? Is it is it extremely expensive? 
Is it? I, I think it's very, ex, very uh, cheap. It's very cheap. Excellent. See? It's very okay. cheap. Cheap. Right? Excellent. You're using adverbs and adjectives. Teacher, what about? Teacher. Yes, Noe, go ahead. Uh, DiCaprio say pupusas are very delicious. He did say that? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't even know he tasted pupusas. Yeah, DiCaprio. DiCaprio say, came to El Salvador? Uh, with, um, uh, I'm going to Google partner, that information. Partner, partner, partner uh, in the interview, <laughs> he say pupusas uh, are very delicious very delicious Susana what's your favorite food give us your opinion using um, adverbs and adjectives mm, my favorite food is Salvadorian mm -hmm. is very in delicious because because salvadoran food is very delicious thank you thank you how about you jilma talking about food uh, my favorite food is pizza <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's the best because it's very delicious. It's very delicious. Okay, okay. No more food, no more food because I'm getting hungry. I'm getting <laughs> hungry. Okay, what about job? Let's talk about jobs. Job. Mm -hmm. How about an actor's job? What's your opinion about an actor's job? Any volunteer? We're using adverb and adjective. An actor's job is, tell me, an actor's job is? An actor's job is very easy. Okay, okay, very good, very good. I like that opinion, thank you. Very easy, okay, yes. adverb and adjective. What do you think, guys? For me, it's very hard. For you, it's very hard, okay, okay. You have a different opinion, okay, thank you, sir. Somebody else? The comedy is the most um, hard for me because the people um, should be happy when when they see the movie. And maybe they are not feeling happy, huh? They have to show they are happy, but maybe they aren't happy. Yes. All right, all right. Um, what else? Let me see. What else? What else? Let me change the job. Let me change the job. The actor. Um, mm -hmm. go okay. Ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. Uh, the actor's job is uh, really fascinating. It's really fascinating. Okay, mm -hmm. I like that. It's really fascinated. Okay, how about how about a DJ's job? Think about it. A DJ's job. How about a DJ's job? A DJ's job is extremely cool. Extremely is extremely extremely cool yes i agree with you it's extremely cool all right somebody else it is job is pretty stressful you think so okay pretty 
stressful. All right, pretty stressful. All right, how about this? A dentist's job. What do you think about a dentist's job? That's a difficult one, huh? The dentist job is a difficult. And where is the, your adverb? I need your adverb, Susana. It's very difficult. It's very <laughs> difficult, definitely. Definitely, yes. I agree with you. All right, guys. Good participation. Somebody else has one example. So far, so good. All right. Thank you for the practice. Thank you for the practice. Good job, people. Let's move on. Let's move on. We're going to now use conjunctions. Yes, we're going to now use conjunctions. Remember the conjunctions? Who remembers the conjunctions? And, um, but. All right. We have four conjunctions, right? And, um, but. but, and, though, However. though, and, However. And how, however. Okay, so let's just start with N, okay? N is to add information, to put two positive ideas together or two negative ideas together. Yes? For example, the city is ugly and small. Okay. Can you try to use a conjunction, the conjunction, and this is the easy one, yeah? Like, I like avocados and also meat, right? Adding information. Can you give one example? Any volunteer? I can play tennis and basketball. The city is ugly and small. Can you repeat? The city is ugly and small. Okay, got it. And small, so you're adding small, okay. Thank you. Beautiful and is um no no the Ilopang Lake is beautiful and is bigger. Okay, Ilopango Lake is beautiful and big. Ilopango Lake and big. is beautiful. And big. And okay. big. Yes. Do, do you have something, Noe? Go ahead. Yes. Canada is a big country and very clean. Correct. Canada is a big country and very clean. So is Costa Rica. Costa Rica is very clean and, and organized. Right? Sure. Yes. I like Costa Rica, I like Canada. Their cultures are very interesting. So this is very easy. This is the easy part because you're just adding information. I have one brother and one sister, right? And, hi Jaime, you have one example for us? Okay, teacher. Mm. The, the sentence, uh, you say, I. I can play tennis and basketball, basketball, mm -hmm. but I can softball. <laughs> I can't play. I can't play softball. Ah, but you're using the other conjunction, but, right? Right now we're using and, okay. Using and. 
Yes, and. In, in the morning, I, I eat my, my desayuno. Uh -huh. Breakfast. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. And afternoon, my lunch. And in the afternoon, my lunch. Okay. In the morning, I take my breakfast. And in the afternoon, my lunch. All right. I like to play the guitar and sing. Okay. I go to the gym and to the supermarket. So that's to add information. Okay. Now, any question with but with and we can go with the next conjunction, but this is a sentence that connects a positive with a negative idea. Remember, positive and negative or negative and positive. For example, the park is clean, but it is very small. So we're linking two sentences, two sentences and but goes in the middle, in the center. The park is clean, but it's very small. Roberto is intelligent, but he is very shy. Yes? <laughs> Alonso is friendly, but he can't speak English. See, something positive versus something negative. I like sandwiches, but I don't like broccoli. See, I love my English class, but I don't like mathematics. Okay. So are you ready for your examples? You see and but, any volunteer, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. The seafood is delicious, but it's very expensive. Okay, just omit the. The is not necessary, okay, Carla? You just say in okay. general. Oh. Seafood is delicious, but it's Food. very expensive. Yes, that's true. It makes a lot of sense, especially on vacation. Good example. I, I, I love the... What, what do you like? Lobsters? Did you say lobsters? I heard you said you like lobsters, como langostas. Okay, somebody has another example? Hey, teacher. It is a big city. It's not too crowded now. Ah, usted ya está con el dough. Okay, dough. Wait, wait, aún estamos con el butt. But, okay. Okay. but, eh, prepáreme ese para, para el, el dough, cuando lleguemos al dough. Okay, so, English is very easy, but mathematics is very difficult. That's to me, that's a personal example. <laughs> okay, what do you think? Give me one example using but. The food is good. But it's very expensive. 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 It's very expensive. Jaime, you want to say something? Prepare your example. Prepare your example. Somebody has an example for me using but. Play the guitar is very easy, but play the piano is difficult. Who was that, Carla? Who was that? Mm, for, e for example, um, Wait, Carla, wait, wait, I, espérame, Carlita, que aquí me dio un ejemplo. ¿Quién fue quien me dio ese? Playing the guitar? Yes? 
¿Quién me dijo eso? Yes, Play the guitar. Teacher. Susana. Yes. Vaya, excelente. Qué bien que Susana me dio este ejemplo con un verbo, right? Play the guitar. Si va a ser un verbo, vamos a usar siempre gerundio, ¿ok? Entonces, en vez de decir play, vamos a decir playing. Porque estamos hablando de la actividad en sí, ¿ok? Playing okay. the guitar is easy. Is that correct, Susana? Yes. Oh. But play what? the piano is but, difficult. But playing, but playing, playing. otra vez, ING, but playing the piano is difficult. It's super difficult, yeah, definitely. Okay, Carla, you have one for us? Yes, uh, I, I want to have a car, but I cannot uh, to drive. But I, but I can't drive. Mm -hmm. Can't drive. But I can't drive. I want to buy a car, but I can't drive. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Yes. The, the Italian food is delicious, but it's very expensive. It's okay. Yeah, but it's very expensive. Italian food, the Italian food? No, the is not necessary. It, like, like Mercy said, the Chinese food? No, it's not necessary. The. So it's just Italian food, Salvadorian food, um, Japanese food, Mexican food, etc. The is not necessary, okay, Jaime? Okay. So you said you. Italian food is delicious, but it's very expensive. Okay. That's correct, that's correct. It's super delicious. It's super delicious, I agree with you. Good examples. Do you have somebody, somebody has another example for us using uh, what? The term. Yes. The bar is uh, it's clean, very it's small. The park is clean, but it's small. The park it's clean, but it's small. Very good, very good. I I have a car, yes, I have a car. Um, I like to, I like to drive a car, but the gasoline is too expensive. It's too expensive. Remember that two is an Albert also, too expensive. And Brian says, I want to go to the party, but I am so tired. Very good, Brian. I want to go to the party, but I am so tired. Excellent. Susana, do you have one example for us using but? Or no more, okay. Let's go with the next. Yes, go ahead. Um, cooking. The process is easy, but cooking tamales is difficult. <gasps> really? For me, for me, both are difficult. All right. So pupusas, making pupusas is easy, but tamales is difficult. I can't imagine that. I can't imagine that. Thank you, Miss Azucena. All right. Let's go with though and however. Though and however. Uh, these two conjunctions connect a positive with a negative idea, right? Similar to but, very similar to but. But they go at the end of the sentence. Ellos van al final de la oración. That's the only difference. Though and however, it's a but. Es como un pero. Es como un pero. Solo que ellos van at the end of the sentence. For example, he's really good looking. He's not nice, however. For example, Brad Pitt 
is very handsome. He is a little arrogant, however. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Now, though and however are more advanced, right? And and but are basic. So you have to try to use though, it's very natural. And however, for me, it's more common to use though. It's more common on a daily basis. Like, for example, um, I like uh, working under pressure, right? It's difficult, though. It's difficult, though. It's difficult, however. Yes? El Salvador is a very nice country. It's also dangerous, however. Okay. Very good. Learning English opens so many doors. It's not easy, though. It's not easy, though. Yes, because you need to invest time, you need to study, you need to sacrifice your time and your energies to study and to practice. However and though, do you have an example using however and though? Remember that they go at the end of the sentence. Mm -hmm. You have no examples? Using though and however. However. However, they are less common, I know, but they are useful. They are very useful on a daily basis. Okay, yeah. if you don't have, go ahead. English class, English, English class is uh, very easy. Uh, however, the French is more uh, beautiful okay i like it i like it thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you let's finalize this class with the last practice today we're going to finish with one module verb do you remember the module verb that we use for suggestions for recommendations okay. for advice i'm sorry Good. Can you repeat, Noah? Um, modal verb for uh, modal verb is could, should, can. Oh, those are modal verbs, but there is one particular modal verb that we use when we provide recommendations. What is the modal verb that we use for recommendations? Can and could, should. Should and shouldn't. Okay, Jilma dice, let me see, I don't like exercise. However, it is necessary for a healthy body. It's correct, it's correct, Jilma, thank you. Vámonos con should and shouldn't. Should and shouldn't. Should is affirmative. Shouldn't is negative. So, you have to give advice, give recommendations. Lo que me gusta de should, guys, in Spanish, es que no es como que te digan hace esto o, o, o hace aquello, sino que es como una recomendación. Tú deberías hacer esto. O sea, te lo dejo a tus manos, right? It's an option for you. Okay. Exercise. I'm going to tell you different situations and you give me advice. You give me advice. Situation one, 
Situation one, pay attention students. Guys, I have a problem. I study English and, and, and I don't learn. I don't learn. I want to speak more, but I can't. What is a suggestion for me? Um, you should listen the music for the pronunciation. Repeat, you should. You should. You should listen to music, should. yes. You should listen to music to, to improve your pronunciation. You need to, oh, you should, see? You should listen to music to improve your pronunciation. English is too difficult for me. Give me an advice. Next, 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 next. You should, you should watch on the movies in English. I should watch the movies in English. Thank you, Susana. I will. Somebody else? You should learn 10 words for day. I should learn 10 words per day. That's a very good advice. Thank you. You should Somebody read else? more vocabulary. You should read to learn more vocabulary yes. wow so good advice somebody else you should practice with the friends you should definitely practice with another friend i like this advice i love it okay you should listen the music in english you should listen to, okay, Susana? You should listen to, okay. you should listen to music in English. All right. Next, next, next situation. Situation two. Very easy. Very easy. I need to lose weight. I need to lose weight, uh-huh. You know, I have a little you stomach, a little belly right here, so. <laughs> you should drink water. Much lot. water, huh? You should and drink you should much water. eat seeds. Excellent. Thank you, Carla. You're definitely a good advisor. Mm -hmm. Somebody else? You go to you? the gym. Say, say it again. You should go to the gym you every day. Go. go. Give me the go. go. You should go. Ese verbo que va a la par del should, eh, quiero estrés. Uh, you should go to the gym. Yes. You should go to the gym. Definitely. Somebody else? You shouldn't eat fast food every day. Es negativo. You shouldn't, pero en realidad es positivo. You shouldn't eat junk food. You shouldn't. Tú no deberías. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't drink soda. Oh you my goodness. You drink water. You see. You're giving me exactly what it hurts. <laughs> you shouldn't drink soda. That's right. You shouldn't drink You shouldn't soda. eat the chocolate. You shouldn't eat chocolate like candies. Yes. You shouldn't eat candies, chocolates, and sweets. More difficult. More difficult. Situation three. Attention. Situation three. Okay. I am in the process of getting a bank loan. Do you know what is a bank loan? Préstamo, teacher. Préstamo, ¿qué? ¿Qué, qué tipo de préstamo? Préstamo bancario. bancario. Correct. Hey, that's not an easy decision. 
So give me good advice. Give me good advice. You have experience. Uh huh. That's a difficult one, huh? That's a difficult one. Yes, I'm going to get a bank loan. I'm going to get like $10,000. So imagine. You shouldn't get a bank loan because you will pay more. Thank you. That's a good opinion. That's a good advice. Definitely. Okay. Carla said, Carla said, you shouldn't get a bank loan because you will finish paying a lot more on interests, right? Yes. I need you. I need you like my best friend, Carla. You have good advice. You always have good advice, definitely. Okay. <laughs> good advisor. Uh huh. What happened? What happened? You shouldn't ask for a bank loan. Uh, you should ask a friend to lend you money. All right. I like it. I like it. <laughs> you shouldn't get a bank loan. You should ask a friend for money. A good friend, huh? Thank you, Carla. Thank you, Azucena. That's okay. You should uh, you should have a financial advice. Financial, repeat. Financial. Financial. Financial, financial. advice. Financial. financial. Advice. Puede ser financial advice or financial advisor. Un financial advisor is a, un consultor financiero, right? Someone that has experience. Yes. Good information. You should talk to a financial advisor. Definitely. Definitely. It's a financial. Okay. Financial Let's finish with situation four. Situation four, let's finish with situation four. Attention. Um, I am a tourist. I am a tourist from Europe, okay? And I'm planning to come to El Salvador for my vacation, okay? Can you tell me something uh, or somewhere I should go? something I should eat or something I shouldn't miss from El Salvador? Uh, you should go to Oloquilte and eat pupusas. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Thank you. Next. You should visit Los Cobanos Beach. By experience, that you recommend me that, huh? Place. Thank you, yeah. Kovano it's City. Beautiful. It's noted. It's noted. Thank you. Next. You should making a camping in Chalatenango. Again, pronunciation. Should. You should. 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 Remember, should. the letter L should is silent. Mm -hmm. You should you should go camping. You should That's go. your activity. Go, go camping. Okay. <gasps> wow, that's a super good idea. I should go camping to Chalatenango. It's so cold and fresh over there. Thank you. You should visit Coatepec Lake. I should visit Coatepec Lake. There's something special about Coatepeque Lake. It's very nice. Aphrodisiac food around, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's very delicious. Great delicious. job. Yeah, it's very delicious. 
the place. Uh, the people are friendly. Very, 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 very much, very much friendly over there, over there, friendliness. Okay, guys, nice job. You really convinced me. Like, who hasn't participated today that much, huh? Uh, I want to thank you for your participation. You definitely are on the loop. You definitely are on the loop. Jaime, do you, did you give me an example? No? Yes. I, uh -huh. I should practice English. <laughs> you should practice English. Hey, you're practicing English with me. You're practicing right? English. <laughs> nice, nice. For, for later, very good. <laughs> That's true. That's true. My best recommendation for you is to continue this way. For your level, it's very important to have a person to practice with. Yeah, maybe a family member, maybe a co-worker, maybe a neighbor or somebody you can practice with, have a conversation, talk about different topics. Like right now, like right now, what we're doing, right? Ahorita me gusta lo que hemos logrado porque en realidad, bueno, yo no lo había logrado antes con otro grupo, pero con ustedes lo hemos logrado. Hemos sacado la temática y ahorita nos vamos a quedar solo role playing. Todo lo que hemos visto, le estamos dando como que un, como que dos pasos, ¿verdad? A la, a la plataforma, así que a la información de la plataforma. Así que eh, de yes. una o de otra forma estamos puliendo lo que hemos aprendido. All right. So, thank you for your participation. Uh, I expect the same tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. Practice, 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 because these classes on this week are only speaking classes. Yes. Only speaking classes. So, I expect the best from each of you. All right. I want to give you applauses for your great job, for your participation. You are learning a lot. I'm very Hello. happy for you. Thank, thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. No, it's my pleasure. It's thank my pleasure. You, teacher. you rock. You. You're very good. You're very intelligent, guys. All right. <laughs> Carla, you. good job today. <laughs> Susana. I'm in very Thank impressed. You. I'm very Thank impressed. You, Thank you. Hey, continue like that tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow, yeah, guys. Teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night, Good night. everyone. Good night. Good night. Rock and roll. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Take it easy. Sweet dreams. Enjoy your night.